Hello everybody, a quick video, very quick video. I was going to put this 2.4 gigahertz video system on the bench and give it a few tests, see how it works, see what the power output is and all that sort of stuff. And I remember a while ago reading on forums and on Hobby King's own forums that there were some wiring issues with these cameras they provide in the wiring loom. And I thought, I'd better double check before I assume that that's been fixed. And look what I found. Okay, here is the board camera you get with the 2.4 system, it's a pretty basic camera. I mean, they work okay, but they're not the best. Now, it has this loom that's been made up, and it's wired up red, white, and black, red being positive, black being negative, and white being the video signal. But I found that if you look at the board here, it has a little legend on it that tells us that the positive is actually going to the video out, the, and the other leads are wrong. It's, it's wired incorrectly. Still, I thought Hobby King would have pulled these and fixed their remaining inventory, but they haven't. So if you're buying one of these 2.4 gig systems with the camera and everything all wired up, don't assume it's all wired correctly. You're probably gonna to have to fix it. So I'll probably call this brief video, why doesn't my Hobby King FPV system work? Because if you plug it in and you power it up like this, it may not damage the camera, it could do, but it certainly will not work. So we're gonna to have to get in there, cut this wire and rearrange the connections so that they actually go to the right places. So your Hobby King points off for that one, I'm afraid. And uh, mind you, you do get another little lead here, which you can plug in, this little spare fly lead you can plug in there and wire up the camera yourself. Uh, maybe that's the best idea, I don't know. But yeah, disappointing. Anyway, I'll get on with putting this on the bench. We'll test it out. I think it's supposed to be 100 milliwatts. We'll see what it actually does. And the interesting thing is that um, we may see if we can change the frequency because these have a little circuit in here, a little phase lock loop. And sometimes, sometimes depending on the chips they're using, you can actually alter the jumpers or the little settings in there to get operation on different frequencies. And there is a portion of the 2.4, 2.5 gig band which is available for video transmitters like this in some countries. And this is the one that Trappy, um, Tim Black Sheep used. It's outside the RC band. So in that respect, you can, you can use this in an area where there may be other 2.4 gig equipment on the ISM band without getting interference. So we'll see what happens. So stay tuned, more coming up on this.